Hello and welcome to another episode of Beer Man's Noble Beer Views. Today I have another beer from uh, Bell's Brewing Company out of Comstock, Michigan. This beer is called uh, Larry's Latest Flamingo Fruit Fight. Um, it's a tart fruit ale brewed with passion fruit and lime. So I'm assuming it's a uh, kettle sour with uh, passion fruit and lime. And it is 5.0 ABV. So uh, I have... Haven't had anything exactly like this um, from these guys, so I'm intrigued. I've, I have heard some good things. Uh, also, too, I know now. I I don't know if they do it for everyone, but a lot of Bell's beers now they they have their own caps, and this one has like a flamingo, and it's pretty cool that they made their own for that. Pretty unique cap. Um, it actually has the passion fruit and uh, lime on it too. I just noticed that. So I'm gonna crack it open and see what we got. <clears throat> So I, I will say I'm a sucker for uh, passion fruit. And I know lime juice with any other type of fruit like makes the fruit flavor pop even more. So I'm pretty uh, intrigued by this one. So as you can see, it pours a, uh, a cloudy, um, darker yellow to orange color. <clears throat> it's interesting. Definitely not uh, as fruity as I was expecting. Um, I just want to make sure that it wasn't something on my hand that I was smelling because I was messing with uh, an IPA that I brewed earlier, but it's not that. Um, I'm definitely getting like more, a lot of uh, like uh, yeasty character and um, some pale grain. There is some, some fruit underneath, but it actually is pretty mild, which is interesting because I remember hearing a review for this one, and they said it was like super passion fruit for it, so I don't know. Maybe the flavor will be, but usually the nose leads into the mouth, so we'll see. <clears throat> yeah, it's definitely a lot more passion fruit in the flavor. Um, but something... It's really strange. Something I, I thought I was getting in the nose, but I didn't know for sure. I wanted to taste it before I brought it up. Uh, it's almost, almost getting like a skunky character. Like this was light struck. Um, and I don't know. I don't think there's any. I don't think I handled it improperly since I bought it. But even if I did, generally. The hops in these types of beers are so so minimal that I wouldn't even think that that would um, that that would really be a thing. Um, <clears throat> but it has like a skunky character to it. It's pretty mild. I mean, it only it's only as much as you would get out of like um, like a Czech Pilsner or something. But it is there, which I just think it's kind of strange. I don't hate it because I actually like that in uh, certain beers, but it's just odd for this uh, type of beer. But the passion fruit is really nice. Um, it, it's it's weird. Like it doesn't even seem like it's. Uh, oh, I'm curious. It doesn't have that like lactic acid like um, tongue biting tartness. So it, to me, it almost seems like the acidity in this is either, is fr straight from the fruit and not necessarily from the beer. Let's see. Now I know passion fruit is not very tart, um, but obviously lime is. So I. It almost seems like the lime is what the acidity is from, and not, not it being uh, actually having like lac, uh, lactic acid in it. Uh, and I'm smelling. <clears throat> the more I drink it, the more I am smelling the uh, the passion fruit in it. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty one-dimensional. I mean, it kind of t just tastes like a uh, a hoppy wheat beer with passion fruit added. I'm really not tasting lime. Um, I think it's just added adding an acidity to the to the beer. Um, <coughs> so on my scale of buy drink dump, I'm gonna give this one a buy because I do think it has its place. Um, 
if I wanted to drink a uh, like a a fruity type, uh, just light crisp beer, specifically one. Uh, wow, I just got a lot of passion fruit in that burp. That's interesting. That's so so weird. But that burp tasted more like passion fruit than the beer does. It's really weird. Um, but if I wanted, if I wanted like a something like this and something maybe specifically really tropical like passion fruit is, uh, there might be one or two beers I can think of that I would rather drink, but they're way, way more expensive than this is. So if you wanted to do it on like a reasonable budget, I, I, I think this has a, a time and a place. So that's why I'm going to call this one a buy. Um, I don't, I know this was, I think it was $2 for the bottle. So I'm guessing a six pack is like nine, ten dollars, you know. So I'm thinking you could probably get a case for forty bucks, maybe. Um, so if you compare that to, uh, you know, some other places that are that might do like a kettle, uh, passion fruit kettle sour, which might be better, but it's you know significantly, significantly more expensive. <coughs> So I think this this does have a place um, given the price, and I, I still think it's a, a a decently tasty beer. Um, so I I would say given the right circumstances, I, I would buy this again. So I'm going to give this one a buy. Uh, but I think that's all I got in this one. Um, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think, and I look forward to doing the next one. Thanks.